Romeo and Juliet star Olivia Hussey and Leonard Whiting filing a $100 million sexual abuse suit against Paramount Pictures over a 54-year-old nude scene in film. How's it going out there, everyone? This is WFS, your doctor, and tonight I want to talk to you about the absurdity of this nonsense that's being posted here. Uh, 54 years ago, the 1968 film Romeo and Juliet was released, and it was a it was a success. Everyone loved it. Unfortunately, some things that a lot of kids that came after this movie had to sit through was going through school having to watch this as part of their education. I happened to be one of them, and at the time, I really didn't enjoy it much. I, I leaned more toward Hamlet myself, but uh, this, this is just ridiculous. But let's get into this article right here and talk about how a movie that's over 54 years old, two people who are in their 70s are now seeking damages for nude scenes that happened back in the 60s. Alas, poor Horatio, the cycle of Shakespeare tragedy is never ending. Olivia Hussey and Leonard Whiting, star of the 1968 adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, a much heralded classic that was required viewing in high school English classrooms for decades after, are digging up the old bones of the past. The pair have filed a suit against Paramount Pictures over the film's notorious nude scenes. Again, this is something from the 60s they're in their 70s now and they're filing a lawsuit now really why what caused you after all this time to decide to go for a lawsuit the suit claims that they were lied to by the director franco and Franco Zeffafili, forgive me, I can't, I'm not pronouncing his name correctly, about nudity being filmed or exhibited and told that they would be wearing flesh-colored undergarments during the bedroom's love scenes. However, on the very last day of the f film photography, the minors' children plaintiffs were given body and makeup and were told by Mr. Zeffafili that they must act in the nude or the picture would fail. In turn, Zenov showed them where the camera's word would be set that the nudity, no nudity, would be filmed or photographed for use in the Romeo and Juliet or anywhere else, as they were believed that they had no choice but to act the nude scenes as demanded. The suit makes clear a damning claim. However, it contradicts recollections from Hussey in recent years. Now, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting, though, if you think about it. They were 15 and 16 at, their at that time, 1968, and they were young. They were very much excited to be in the film industry. But now, now all of a sudden, they're in their 70s, and they're filing a $100 million lawsuit on the very year that the sexual assault claims and the nudity claims, the very last year that they can actually file these claims. It's very interesting. In 2018, upon the release of her memoirs, the Black Christmas Star recalled her and Whiting's were young theater actors, but still very aware of what they were called to do. She also said that Fox News, to, excuse me, to Fox News, that the nudity wasn't the big deal, and she even spoke in favor of it. Obviously, something has changed. Yeah. I can see it. Again, they're in their 70s and they want to retire in the lap of luxury. A hundred million dollars split between the two of them is a nice take home. Now there is some other inter interesting information that you should see here. Romeo and Juliet was nominated for an Academy Award winning the best cinematography and costume design. Hussey and Whiting took home Golden Globes for their performances. Paramount hasn't commented, but profited upwards to of about $500 million from the film. Director Zephyriri, Zeph Zeph again, I just have a hard time with this man's name, no it has no stranger to sexual assault claims, who died in 2019. The suit was filed before California's lifted its statute on limitations on sexual assault of minors. 
Okay, so tell me what all of you think about this one. I mean, it is, as I said before, it seems kind of strange to me that 54 years has gone by, and yes, uh, their manager, I forget which one of them it was, is in, was involved with the Me Too movement, so that could have been a deciding factor in how this was pursued and how they were talked into filing the suit. But again, it just seems weird that 54 years, they've had plenty of time, 54 years later, they decide to file a suit for $100 million over nudity that happened. There's probably a lot more to the story than we're being told, but it just, it just, it sounds crazy to me. Give me your thoughts, your comments. I really would love to hear back on you on this one. WFS, your doctor here. Until the next time, God bless my friend.